The first thing you need to learn about typing is where the home keys are located. And what the home keys are is each of the four fingers on each of your hands has a key that it is always going to return to after you type a letter. So for your left hand, the home key for pinky is A, for the ring finger it's S, for the middle finger it's D, and for the pointer finger it's F. For your left hand, the home keys are semicolon for the pinky, L for the ring finger, K for the middle finger, and J for the pointer finger. So as you can see by looking at where my hands are on the keyboard, we now have easy access to all the keys on the keyboard. So every time you type a letter, you need to make sure that that finger returns to its home key. Now as you start typing and you get used to it, you might develop some shortcuts and maybe some bad habits, and you might even be able to anticipate where the next key is going to be. So you might not always completely return to this home area, but when you're learning, you definitely need to return to this home area or you're going to lose your place on the keyboard. So if I type the letter U with my pointer finger, I need to then return to J. If I type G with my pointer finger, I need to then return to F. Always back to the home keys. Now as you're learning to type, one of the best practices is to just start typing letters repetitively because repetition creates memory and not only in your brain but your fingers will start to remember where things are and then you won't even have to think about which key you're typing it'll just come out naturally so what you want to do is if you're practicing the letter U you want to go J U J J U J then you can maybe practice a different letter to kind of get your mind in a different place and you could talk about F R F F R F now before any, I go any further I'd like to show you which fingers are responsible for which keys. I'm also attaching a chart in the description of this video on YouTube that tells you which fingers are responsible for which keys. So your pointer fingers are going to res be responsible for six main keys and then each of your other six fingers is going to be responsible for three primary keys. So for the left hand the pinky is responsible for Q, A, and Z. Ring finger W, S, X. Middle finger E, D, C. And then pointer finger R, F, V, T, G, B. On the right side, your pinky finger is responsible for P, semicolon, slash, ring finger, O, L, period, middle finger, I, K, comma, and then your pointer finger, U, J, M, Y, H, N. Now it's important to understand when you first start typing, your pointer finger is probably not going to be too tough to learn that one, but your ring and your pinky fingers are going to feel very awkward and it's just not going to, to go well. But you need to work through that because you need to, the more you practice, the better you're going to learn. And if you're a really quick pointer typer, like I know a lot of you are out there, when you first start typing the right way, you actually might be able to type faster with your pointers. And you're gonna say, ah, screw this, I don't wanna do this, I can type faster the way I already do it. But the truth is, is you will be able to type faster, a lot faster if you do it the right way. At first, you might be a little slower because you're not used to it. You need to practice it. It's not just going to happen overnight. But if you practice this and you keep doing the repetition, R, F, R, F, F, V, F, V, you will become good at typing. Now, the other thing that you want to do is go ahead and print out that chart I've attached in the description to this video. And when you're at home or when you're at work, practice typing the right way. And always remember, return to the home key. It might take you a little bit longer, but slowly and surely you will get faster at typing, you will get better at typing, and it's gonna save you a lot of time in almost every aspect of your digital life. Whenever you're sending personal emails, professional emails, typing up letters, filling out a form online, filling in credit card information, anything, it's gonna be faster. So this is definitely something you should invest your time and it's gonna pay off in the long run. Uh, if you can find some online games, or just regular typing games, that's one of the best ways to learn. Um, that's how I learned a lot when I was younger. I played the typing games and it's fun and you learn how to type. Um, so let's take a look at my computer real quick and I'll show you how I can type. I'm just going to type a sentence for you and you'll see watch my fingers and my screen as I type at the same time. Typing is important for almost every aspect of life. You use it in your professional career and in your personal life. So you can see I am a very quick typer. Now you might have noticed I, I made a mistake in here. I didn't make a mistake in the actual typing, but sometimes I use my pointer for the period. And when you're starting out, I know it's kind of hypocritical of me to say this, you want to use your ring finger for the period. 
But as I mentioned earlier, as you start typing, you are going to develop some of your own methods that are going to work better for you, and that's okay because we're all different. But it is going to take a while. This is going to take practice. When you're sitting at your computer at home or at work and you're typing and you really want to learn how to type the right way, you need to force yourself to do it because you're going to start typing. I'm typing now. And then all of a sudden you're going to say, this is slow, I'm messing up, I need to do backspace, I'm just going to go back to the pointers. And you're never going to be able to type super fast. So you need, it's really something that you just need to stick with. So, you know, it's going to be a struggle at first, but it will definitely speed up how fast you can type, and it will make your life a lot easier and more efficient. So I hope this helps. If it did, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. Um, if you want to see more technology tutorials, tips, Google Docs, Google Apps stuff, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's all I have for you today. This is Anson from AnsonAlex.com.